in this video, we're gonna be fitting our roof bars and our crossbars. So this is everything we get with the roof bar kit. We have all the relevant gaskets, the relevant spacers, and the correct fittings. And this is everything that comes with the crossbar kit. Again, all the relevant fittings and our instructions. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is use our five mil Allen key and remove the blanking screws from the roof. Okay, so we remove the closest one to the front of the vehicle and the last two towards the back of the vehicle and we leave this one in here. So our roof bars fit here and there. Okay, so now we've removed our screw bungs out of our roof. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is use some silicon sealant and we're gonna place a little ring of silicon sealant around our hole, like so. And then we're gonna add a little bit of our silicon sealant to our bolt thread. This is just prevent water ingress inside the cab. And we'll do this to all the fixtures for the roof bars. Okay, so we're gonna put our spacers in place. And these basically take up the gap and make the roof flat for our, uh, our roof bars to sit on. So we put it roughly in place, there's one there, one there, and one at the front there. Okay, so this is a rear spacer, and you'll notice the holes are towards the rear of the spacer. That's where we want them to be. This centre one here, you can see the holes are inboard and towards the front of the spacer. That's the way round we want that one. And on the front, the holes are towards the front of the spacer. That's the way we want that round. Okay, so we've selected the right side roof bar for the side we're doing on the vehicle. The easiest way to put the gaskets on is we're going to turn this upside down, like so. And then we take our gasket, place them on the end. Now, you can push the rubber gasket onto these holders here. Okay, so we've got the gasket roughly in place. And we just push the centre over these parts. And then when we turn it over, it doesn't fall off. We'll do the same for both ends. That's the two outer gaskets in place. We'll do the centre one on the vehicle, that's easier, I'll show you why. That's our centre gasket, we'll take that with us to the vehicle, because that won't stay on the bottom. And we'll do that when we get there. Also the bolts, uh, you can see we have four shorter and two longer, and obviously six washers. So we only need half of what we've got there to do one bar, so we're going to use two shorts and one long and three washers. Okay, so we've placed our roof bar on top, onto our spacers. Uh, you notice I've put the longer gaskets on, on the bench. This one we're just gonna place on now. So it's literally, we just slide it under. The reason I didn't put that on the bench is that it, this one's prone to falling off because it doesn't have anything to hold it on. There we go, we're in place. Now we take the longer of the two different length bolts, and put the longer one in here in the center. And that drops through and in. That's it, and we just gently start to feel it on the thread, that's cool. Okay, we won't tighten it right up because we need to put the other ends in first. So let's do an end at a time. Okay, so same again, we can use our Allen key to locate our hole that goes through our roof bar, through the spacer. And you can just feel it going through into the, the threaded hole to accept the bolt. Now the ends have the shorter of the two lengths of Allen key, bolt that we had. So this is our shorter one with our washer fitted. Find the hole. Okay, again, then we just gently wind our screw in. I can feel it just taking into the thread now. Again, we'll do it loosely for the minute and then we'll tighten up in a moment. Okay, so it's, it's in, it's caught the thread, everything's good, and we can put the front one in. That's our last bolt, which is the, again, the shorter ones with the washer on already. So we've got all our threads started, everything in place and in position, our gaskets are in position. So we can go ahead and tighten up this bar now all the way along. So we'll start with where we are now. Okay, that's all three tightened up. Now we're gonna put in the blanking bungs. We've got our three blanking bungs for this side. And they're literally just pushing the top where our bolts have gone in through. There's one, there's two. Okay, so that's the first roof bar fitted. So we're gonna go ahead and fit the other side.
Okay, so it's both sides fitted. We're just tightening up the last one. Obviously, just take care, don't go too tight because you are only pulling down onto a plastic spacer. So they need to be firmly tight, but not really tight. So that is good enough, it's nice. And then we're gonna fit the crossbars. Okay, so we've got our crossbars here. I'm gonna show you how to put the crossbars together and then we'll fit them to our roof bars. So one I've already done, so that's together ready to go. This is how it comes in kit form. So the first thing we do is we put the ends on. Okay, so we just, if we start from one side, it opens it up, push your thumb on the rubber part here, and then that should just slide on lovely like that. We'll do the same to the other side. And if you start from the edge, push on, it will open up the hole, and then keep your finger on the rubber, like so, and push it down. Okay, so once we've got both ends on, We've got our little rubber gaskets to go on. So these go on the top part of the feet and they go on in here. So we'll loosen that off first. So we'll take our screwdriver and we back out the screw, which is the clamp underneath. Like so, so we can get that out of the way. Then our gasket goes in. that will actually sit over the lip. So we'll work it round the lip, like so. I haven't got any. And then that'll stay on there when we fit it to the vehicle. We're gonna fit the crossbar. The first one we're gonna fit between the two rear fixings here on our forward bars. So Literally, have to make sure these are loose enough. So I've loosened him right off. So we're going to go ahead and push him onto the bar the other side. Like so, that's it. And then this one will just drop down. And then we take hold of the centre of the bar and we're just going to move our ends out slightly. Our screwdriver. And as we tighten, you just see that the clamp underneath will come up. Again, careful not to over tighten because these are only uh, plastic fitting. They've got a rubber foot so they do not need to be that tight. That's that side and we'll go around the other side and tighten it up. Okay, so make sure that this crossbar is straight, which it is. We'll pull this end out so it fits over the our roof bars nicely and then again we just tighten this side up with our screwdriver and screw. Okay so we've tightened that side, we've come this side, we're just going to move our foot part of the bracket onto our roof bar so it's nice and snug and then we're going to take our screwdriver and do it up. Again you can hold the bracket underneath if it's swinging around because we did loosen them off to get them on and then we can fit our little Blanking caps. We just literally just push our blanking caps in. Done. That's our crossbars fitted.